Mainz and Money London, welcome ladies and gentlemen, day number three and with me here now early in the morning is Dr. Keith Barron, the chairman and CEO of Orania Resources and they actually have some great news out today. Keith, welcome. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, good to be here. Thanks for taking the time and I just saw you just released some 10 minutes ago a nice news release about an old road you found. What does that mean? Yes, well, you know, our project is called uh, uh, the Lost Cities Project. And one aspect of the project has been looking for two lost gold mines of the Spanish conquistadors. Mm -hmm. And now I, I think we found some confirmatory evidence, certainly that the Spaniards were in the area because we found an old road. Mm -hmm. So uh, how and, did you find that? Well, I, I was actually on the property and, and walked on the road uh, just this last weekend. Mm -hmm. But the geologist uh, essentially came across it really by accident. So, you know, the only way to get through the jungle in this area, because it's so thick, is to hack your way with a machete yeah. back and forth, back and <laughs> forth. And then suddenly they were in a clear area mm -hmm. and they turned around. And they said, what on earth? What, what What's going on here? Yeah. Right. And they could see. Um, in front of them that it was clear for um, a long, long way and, and eventually, you know, they were able to walk this thing out in one direction two kilometers and another direction more than one kilometer, cut by landslides, both ends. Mm -hmm. So we don't know essentially where it begins and where it ends, mm -hmm. but this is very, very interesting and confirmatory evidence yeah. because the, uh, it's clearly the, the road was engineered. It's okay. built into the banks. Wow. It's not the sort of thing that the yeah. indigenous people would ever spend yeah. time doing. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it looks like it was probably used as a donkey trail or a pony trail or something like that. Um, to you transport know. the gold off. Well, you see, <laughs> this is the thing. Hopefully. We, we, and I said this in the press release. Yeah. We know, we know, because we have the names of the two treasurers for both Sevilla de Oro and Logroño de los Caballeros. And the treasurers were the people who actually turned the gold that came out of the ground or was alluvial gold, they turned it into gold ingots. Mm -hmm. uh, because it was illegal at the time for anyone to possess uh, flower gold, flake gold, nuggets, gold nuggets. It was punishable by death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because the king got 20%, what was oh. called the king's fifth. Yeah. So you had to surrender go the gold to the mint or, or to the treasury, mm -hmm. and the treasury in these little outposts would turn the gold into gold ingots. The tax stamps would be mm -hmm. stamped all over the mm -hmm. thing to show that the king had got his, his 20%. So it's free to and sell, And then yeah. it was free to do whatever yeah. you wanted yeah. with it. But they would have carried that gold out, not by hand, because obviously gold is very, very heavy. Mm -hmm. They would have carried it out in strong boxes, probably uh, strapped onto the side of a mule yeah. or a horse or whatever. Yeah. And and uh, and led down a trail uh, eventually yeah. to get all the way to Quito, yeah. and uh, and then go into the the uh, the big uh, treasury there. Yeah, fantastic. How is it going with the uh, lidar um, survey? What you are doing, uh, and also with the new technology you are using there. Well, we did say in the in the not the last press release, but the one before that, that uh, we had had some trouble with the mm -hmm. first uh, lidar pr provider. In fact, they broke their their plane the first oh. the first week so okay. um, but because we had found this road we said look it's very very critical that we get this done and get it done quickly yep. and we now have an area to focus the LIDAR survey so we brought in another contractor and I haven't been in touch because I've been here at the show but they should have started Monday mm -hmm. uh, doing their surveying mm -hmm. so we should have a result fairly soon Ooh, wow. and okay. what I obviously want to do is I want to see what where yeah. these roads go to, yeah, right? Because yeah. okay. hopefully one of them is yeah. going to go to the gold camp. Yeah, fantastic. And you're also drilling now in Yawi. Yes, right? we are. So yeah. what, how is that going? It's going well. Um, when I left the field last week, we were on hole two. I think we're on hole three right now. Uh, the plan is to drill four holes, maybe maximum five. This is scout drilling, so there's not resource mm -hmm. drilling or anything like mm -hmm. this. Just, just to get a taste of what's going on. Uh, we have four targets at Yaoi, so we'll be doing uh, roughly between 16 and 20 holes. Mm -hmm. And they're all pretty shallow holes, around 300 meters, 350 meters, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we don't want to blow the whole budget on the first one. No, that's not good. <laughs> because we have so many targets. We yeah, now yeah. have 20 epithermal gold-silver targets, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is incredible for a junior mining company. Yeah. 20 targets, plus we've got 
Uh, seven porphyry copper targets confirmed now on the ground. We ground truth them uh, from the magnetic survey that we mm -hmm. did a couple of years ago. We've got uh, what's called a silver lead zinc mantos uh, replacement of, of, of limestone. That thing extends for 15 Ks. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're familiar, we found this incredible, incredible copper and silver in sediments, mm -hmm. uh, which extends for 22 kilometers. Exactly, 22 yeah. kilometers, yeah. It's a long distance. Oh, <laughs> and the big you know, area. I was yeah. just telling someone, I yeah. said, there's nothing been seen like this mm. since Belgian, uh, since, since the DRC was called the Belgian Congo mm. and Zambia was called Northern Rhodesia. Yeah, so yeah. I'm talking pre-First World War, yeah, right? Yeah. A long, long time. Yeah. People don't find, you know, 22 kilometers of oxide copper on surface. Mm. This is mm. just incredible discovery. That's right, yeah. I'm very excited by it. Super. Okay, you just did also financing, so you are cashed up for next year already, right? Uh, not for next year. And, I, you know, we keep finding so many targets. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're, we're it, it's expensive to do exploration. And, yeah. And um, I, I think, uh, well, uh, we have some... Certainly, we have cash right now, but uh, we will be doing a raise in the new year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you have to spend money to make money. <laughs> That's right, absolutely. Yeah, super. So when do you think the first news flow will start from all the drillings and, uh, let's say, the, uh, the survey with the LiDAR you, are, you have started already yesterday? When do you think we can approach the first news flow? Well, um, we've got some warrants that are coming, uh, mm. coming due at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been trying to gauge the, the news flow and the, the workflow so that though we don't have the results from everything yet. As I said, we're, 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 doing, uh, um, uh, we're doing some sampling of the copper right now on surface. And I want to get that stuff out so that we have some uh, firepower mm -hmm. and get get these warrants exercised. Yeah, which always helps, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Right. Six million dollars <laughs> if we could bring that, that into would the be company. Great. Yeah, right. Absolutely, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, Talking about 2020, what mm. are, let's say, the major targets you want to do concerning like drilling or sampling? Where, where do you have to focus? Well, um, it's almost turning into a, a gold project and in parallel a copper project. Mm -hmm. So we will continue to work on the, on the gold epithermal targets that we found. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we come up with the lost cities and, and who knows? Yeah. Who knows what that means, right? Yeah. But we're going to con continue to proceed along that path, and that's mm -hmm. that's been the, the the founding premise of the company. Mm -hmm. But you know, in the course of all the exploration that we did, we came across this this uh, sedimentary copper, and you cannot ignore it. Yeah, of course, uh, it, it's very similar to to uh, when Friedland had his company Diamond Fields working in in uh, in Labrador in Canada, looking for diamonds, and they came across the Voices Bay nickel deposit, yeah. right? You, you just don't ignore such Definitely things, right? Definitely not. No, no, no. And they sold that for $4 billion, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm not saying that our thing is going to be worth something like that. But, but I would knows? be happy I if it so. would be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I would be delighted. But it's early days. Yeah. And, um, you know, because this thing is on surface, it's easy to sample. And, and uh, hopefully it'll be easy to get our arms wrapped around it and put a resource to it. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to do that. I want to do some drilling maybe in February, maybe March, uh, in time for the PDAC mm -hmm. uh, uh, on, the, on the copper silver mm -hmm. story. But we're going to continue to do uh, drilling on, on the gold, gold silver story. And I don't think that drill is ever going to come off the property. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Keith, tons of work. I'm pretty sure we see us in Vancouver in January and for sure PDAC in March. And then we're going to have a a good update. Oh, yes. We're <laughs> going to have a great time. Great. Thank you very much, Keith. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Dr. Keith Berman, the chairman and CEO of Orania Resources. And you heard it. The drills are turning. The LiDAR has restarted yesterday. And a lot of uh, yeah, good things hopefully will happen until Christmas here. News flow should start soon. So I really urge you, check out the company. Stay tuned. Thanks. And bye-bye from London. <laughs>